Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the two against the Overlord campaign. Um, Tapcat has just finished his mission and I figured it's time to give it a good try. Operation Bone Breaker is upon us and that means we want to counter a hidden event, get some sweet sweet intel and uh, also enjoy that we will have uh, a shadow side trip with uh, concealability for every single character plus 91 intel is a bit of an icing on the cake hotbite is leading the charge who else should do it if not him together with spectre implacable xq6 mad dog and trojan the walking uh, advertisement for condoms we are going to go right into that we got weapon upgrades which is good we got armor upgrades which is also good and with enough uh, Elerium and uh, more alloys we might even be able to upgrade the sniper at some point so join me when it is time to kick some alien rear as we are landing and hopefully destroying every single one of them Mwah! guess what we do have a relay we're wonderfully placed in the sewers and I can only imagine that this means we're going to fight against the Chosen but before we make any hasty conclusions let's first and foremost charge in On the move. okay so we got the typical train station over here we got uh, the train and the train station, so to speak, here, which is where there are a couple of trail tracks, but also some high ground, which is super helpful for us. And we only got seven turns, so we better get moving. Hogbite. Begins to scout out. They're patrolling this area. All right, our first Mamba. In case you don't, uh, Boa. Sorry, in case you don't know these, they do have a lot of armor. They can start to bind you, and they will not let go, even if you damage them. Really nasty. So whenever I see them, I am extra, extra, extra careful. Sniper moves up. Stepping off. And how about we're just continuing to move up here? Sounds about right. Quite a few ultra heavy max. Alright, so where are the enemies? We know one is here. One is here. And one is here. So here, here, and here. Which means if we move to here, we would get one free Blade Storm attack. think we equally would get it if we're moving to here on the boa so yeah let's do that okay well we already pulled three packs wouldn't be a second campaign if we wouldn't be pulling three packs at once Fabulous. Skirmisher is dangerous. We have to be careful here. Before we're going to do anything though, let's start to move up. We do have individual concealment. No, not really. Take a move. No need 
Good. Moving all the way up to here. Softening her up. Okay. That's good. And there is a hair trigger. Lovely. Couldn't have asked for better timing. I think we're just going for the max. Unfortunately, that did not fully work out. Could move to here Pausing on target position. and then maybe use a mimic beacon. Can't grapple, but we can definitely use a mimic beacon. Our biggest challenge is that we can't really see any further. But fear not, in that case, Saiken comes up with a creative approach. Also known as the just get the entire wall away type of approach. can move over here, which is not the worst decision. Hawkbite very much destroys this guy. We are full focus. I like that. Parry here. Hand over a teamwork. Then definitely go for the Spectre. Fabulous hit. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we could go there, but I um, don't know. But 11 to 12. Well, he could kill that elite specter easily. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Don't have Reaper. But we can very much kill this guy. The challenge with the Viper is it does have Bind, and Bind does not trigger Blade Storm. It's one of the very, very, very few exceptions that does not do that. However, if we're Mimic Beaconing in here, the Viper will do something else. And us moving up here will mean movement definitely triggers Blade Storm. And I think we're team working over. into Overwatch from XQ6 and Implacable takes Overwatch as well. Oh no. Unfortunate. But you can't avoid uh, the good old Blade Storm. Parrying his stupid attack. That should trigger another blade storm, shouldn't it? Hmm. 
Apparently not. Well, the Viper will not only survive the Blade Storm, but it will also get it bind off. Sucks. Alright, getting the Viper down. Hope I took damage. I hate it when that happens. Maximizing our DPS by slightly hitting this guy before then completely and utterly destroying him. Alright, it's a good start. I like it. Okay. Moving up. Shredding. Armor still holding. Absolutely. Continuing to move up. That's how it's done. Mech goes down. We'll cover here. On the move. We are moving into high car, uh, high ground to have an easier shot. 50-50, 60% actually isn't bad. Nicely they're removing the cover there. And Hogbite just gets out of line of sight. Still moving. Look at you. Okay, it is uh, as it always is, Hogbite just. Generates aggro. Get ready for a surprise. Good. Removing cover. And unfortunately destroying loot, which sucks. Trying to squeeze in this promotion for Hawkbite, but it hasn't worked so far. Good, this year will allow us to take shots on the actual target. I'm on it. it done. Good, we got some overwatch ready. And there seems to be yet one more pack, but that was to be expected. Oh, look at you, reinforcements. How cute. That's one down. That solves the overall problem. Hopbite goes right into the middle. We're overwatching. Reload overwatch. Reload overwatch. Moving a bit closer for potential high ground and overwatch. I wouldn't be surprised if none of these guys are surviving it. Yeah, 
Well, <laughs> it's one guy. One of them is left over. Okay. Cute. On your order. Unfortunately, don't have a reload ready, but we got this one here. Moving in, bracing. That's some high ground. Moving into full cover here. Some overwatch. And you know what? Hopper does need to stay in the open. Might as well just overwatch us. Oh no, oh no, the first ethereal. Oh, not good at all. I vaguely remember that. Oh, I vaguely remember these guys. They were super strong. Damn it. They had summoning abilities and a couple of other really nice abilities. Well, fabulous. <laughs> Ain't that great. Could I tell you what? Uh, we can break the mind control with a single freeze. Good. That also means the mind controlled individual can no longer act. Just out of curiosity, can we reach the ethereal? No, we can't. Uh. Do we have shredding? Heading out. Uh, I would actually like to run a gun. And I saw a recent uh, request where there was too little shotgun to the face. So we gotta bring that back, shotgun to the face. Yeah, trigger free action, keep it going. 14, lovely. I know that melee techs were their bane. So that's exactly what we're going to do. A little bit of parry here. We are slightly withdrawing, mainly because I don't want any stupid things to happen. Sentinel takes damage, which is okay. And I tell you what, let's just use a Mimic Beacon. Because why not? Great, more summonings. Because we can all agree that so far there definitely hadn't been enough summonings from the ethereal. Oh yeah, eat this. 
What? Ruptured and nine points of damage plus ignores the mimic beacon. What is even going on? Good. I hope I does not take uh, that lightly. Amplify here on that specter. And we're taking a bit of cover position. I think we all can agree that at the end there was only one true winner of this one-on-one. -on -one. There could have only been one. As the famous Highlander uh, series um, was titled. Air trigger. I love it. Good, good, good. Vector Prime, we could hit that one. I mean. Let's first of all get the others off the field. 11 points and burning. I think that's a kill, right? Yeah, he's burning. Okay, cool. Can't move, we're still frozen. somehow hit this guy no no Good, time for the Spectre Prime. I would love to use, um, to use something else on uh, him, such as the Freezing Grenade. Moving, to position. Moving up, can we spot him out? Oh yeah. 100% crit. Oh, wonderful, 17. here and unfortunately can't get that specter so we're just overwatching more overwatch and end of turn really even more enemies so the ethereal puts one ability there and it triggers three pa uh, packs of enemies that's a bit over the top
I originally wanted to get this guy here. It's now refilling his hit points. Oh, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Bracing. And let's get that prime. Okay, uh, it seems to be a bit of a bug. I can't do anything. Let me just try something. I don't want to cheat. I simply want to make sure that we can act. Hmm. Okay, it seems that he is out of commission for now. Very strange behavior, didn't have that yet. Good to go. Not good. All right, let's Lots of misses down to one hit point, which is hilarious. Top of my rage. Good, Hogbite makes sure Not that Spectre Prime is finally down. Moving over here. Still up. That was the third hit, I think, uh, which was barely missed. Can't even overwatch. This is a bit aggravating. That armor's tough. Good sustenance. And we can't really do anything here. I don't know what it is, but the frozen mind control, he really didn't like that. So, end of turn, I suppose. Interesting line of sight. I'm taking fire. Okay, well, the Raptor Commanders apparently can shoot three times. Through the walls. It would be likely less of a problem um, with their with their shots if we could actually move, but yeah, XQ6 can't do that, so Basically standing here. Still can't do anything. Can't use any ability. Cool.
Good, very good. This guy goes down. Hair trigger, concealment, reload. So we still have the mutant. Who took quite a bit of damage. And finally went down. Reload. Reload Overwatch. Can't really Overwatch. And Hogbite is just going to stand here. End of turn. Raptor Commando uh, can now take a good old swing to the face. Yeah, that mission was questionable. Not so much because it was badly played, but number one, the Ethereals, absolute monster enemies. Number two, because you can already see that the modding community sometimes just does ignore the, I would say, fundamental laws of the game. So example here is Mind Shield. Uh, theoretically, you should not be able to overcome it, but the Ethereals just basically deal nine points of damage and it is, yeah, bad luck, buddy. You uh, will take the full damage regardless. That sucks a bit. Not a big fan of those uh, types of, um, of behavior. And then thirdly, uh, we basically lost the unit without much uh, counterplay because uh, they got stuck. Good, yeah, I think the invert does not end Templar's turn. Not a bad idea. But I want to save more points for Ghost and um, Void Conduit and also uh, for the Storm. Bond level upgrade uh, possible, which is good. What? Eric Anderson got Fear of Fire? I call bullshit. And yeah, fantastic. Hogbite now is afraid of fire. How is that even possible? Just got a little bit, a little burned and that's all. Good. Hilarium and Alois, I think we're going to take that one here. Because we can use it. We also need the supplies in order to upgrade the weapons. And I'll play that one off of a camera. Be right back. Good. We have found the stronghold. And Mantle Fortitude, that is fantastic. All battle effects wore, uh, wear off. This here would be great. Reduction of avatar progress. Interchangeable parts are great. We figured that out already. And of course, infiltrating the Stronghold Part 3 would be great as well. I think the technical uh, technical advances are worth the time spent. So how about that? Plus that plus this, which will reduce it to five days, quick and easy. Which also means we get another mission before the end of the month. Perfect. Our research was a success, Commander. It certainly is. Archon autopsy. Nothing else. 
allows us to go into instant uh, upgrade of uh, melee weapons, instant uh, refraction field, and then even more importantly, inspired plasma lens. Ah, hazmat suits, uh, those are bad, so they will no longer be impacted by any of our special ammunition. So what would we have available here? Shielded power coil. Power relay, proving grounds. Down here, a defense matrix definitely makes sense. And the shielded power coil, I would want to go with um, the shadow chamber. Build that a little bit faster and clearing a little bit faster. Okay, cool. Now we also got more contacts all of a sudden, which means we could theoretically expand a little bit further. I like the double agent bonus, that would definitely be good. I like tactical analysis as a bonus, that would also be not too bad. And we do have enough intel so let's do that alien wreckage and then we're continuing. Skulljack is just a build, proving ground. Let's choose another project. Yeah, we don't have the funds to go war suit or wrath suit, let alone experimental ammo, but we do have 11 cores, which is fabulous. So we will have enough time to do that a bit later. Interchangeable upgrades, good. Which then brings us to a reduction of avatar progress. And whilst these two were hugely successful, might as well continue with both of them. Eight more days, getting the Avatar project further down. Strategic resource located. Look at that, 70 and 60, that's so good. Now we don't need supplies, we're going to get that soon. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes for resistance. Good, the shadow. Our maiden is still okay. We don't need to immediately deal with that. But uh, the hunter, I think we could start a bit more. Signal jamming needs to be countered soon. And let's do the Templars. That is great. Soldier bond uh, 25% faster isn't bad either, but I think we're taking just 10% more experience for now. Contacts immediately, two extra contacts. Hmm, do we really need that? But the others aren't really that good, so might as well. New We're getting extra supplies because that is what we need in order to upgrade the sniper rifles. But before that is happening, more intel and an engineer. I am calling Tapcat. Mayday, Mayday, we need your support. Hogbite is still a tiny bit wounded, but that is okay. There are still... Oh, wow. Tapcat really wounded uh, the uh, Reaper. 
Yeah, there is sort of a B team available. Yeah, he, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. All right, very good. Well, that's the end of today's episode, I suppose. As we have done a good job in, yeah, just reclaiming territory. I think we have uh, found a good foundation for Tapke to uh, use the other two contacts. We have certainly, after the next mission, around... 270 intel definitely enough supplies so that when the plasma lands upgrades we can do the actual upgrade of the plasma lands that's the last uh, plasma weapon upgrade and then i think there are a few options for us a few ways that this could go I definitely think we need to use the skull jack next on an advent officer we're pretty far behind when it comes to this so better do that and we also need to do the black side mission so there is actually a little bit of storylining going on him and i uh, were playing a bit of an unconventional campaign we just ignored the black side mission and the officer uh, we were just going solely for expansion trying to reclaim earth but who could take uh, who could uh, think badly of that is we are just trying to reclaim earth really anyways uh, enough rambling see you in two days and have a good one guys enjoy